see now in the we are in roastery in extraction size working to roasting our uh, main blend or single origin here size current northern uh, brewing champion and then she's a head of coffee and extraction she controls the qc uh, roasting and brewing as well hi i am sarah jean i'm currently um, living in brisbane i consider myself as a big player in queensland my current duty, which includes roasting, quality control, shopping green beans, um, daily duties behind the machine. Today I'm going to brew the Finca Debra. Um, it's a filter roast. It's a geisha variety produced by Jamison Savage in Panama. And it's sourced by Project Origins. Yes, it's a um, carbonic um, macerated wash the process. For this coffee, um, I roast the very light. Um, the total roasting time is probably around 8, 8 minutes and 30. Um, still looking at um, probably 5 minutes um, yellow. Yeah, I'm using 15 grams of coffee to 250 grams of water with the total brewing time under 2 minutes and 30. I'm using the corner dripper. Um, today I'm using three pours. The first pour is blooming, 50 grams for 40 seconds. And then the second pour with um, 100 grams of water. When the water fully drains through, I start my third pour. So I'm using a custom made water, which contains 25 parts per million of magnesium, 25 parts per million of um, calcium, then five parts per million of K8. Yeah, that's the um, brewing method that I'm using for this coffee. This coffee is a very um, delicate, I would say. It's a very aromatic, um, full of jasmine, orange blossom, a lot of like citrus blossom for me, bergamot. Also, you get a lot of honey. Yeah, super clean. Yeah, caramel, dark. Sugar there. When I smell, aroma is more, more gentle. Uh, the floral, uh, floral, jasmine was bam. Coffee when it's hot, there's a lot of um, again citrus, a lot of blossom, a lot of honey. When it's cool down, there's a um, lot of different colors, fruits like um, we. We get um, a bit more peach, a bit apricot from it. Also, there's some strawberry. Um, it's uh, very juicy. It's got that um, cranberry quality to it as well. When you have a honey, like even the aroma kits, honey is warm by yeah. the floor a little bit. I get now, I get more like as a mandarin because mandarin always has more floral, hint of the floral with the orange and gently that's the mandarin for me this set was supposed to be my competition coffee but um yeah unfortunately the pandemic happened but good thing is we're serving in a cafe so all the customer loves it it's amazing it's i'm um, looking for a very delicate profile so it's an amber profile yeah that's um this is kind of coffee is what i love to drink every day yeah. easy to drink it's well, very so easy complex. to drink. Even our customer, like a daily customer, they some of customer haven't even tried the filter yet. They just saw it on the menu. Why this coffee is so expensive? Um, then we explain to them. And they're like, okay, I want to try it. And everyone loves it. it. It's a, a customer showing general appreciation and a better quality coffee. They understand the coffee a little bit more. I think that's the success role as a barista, you know, to connect that. Sarah's coffee was great coffee. I can highlight my experience with some points. Most of all, it was very, very clean coffee overall. But it wasn't a simple coffee. It has very complexity side in aroma, flavor, and acidity. And also, the anchor of great sweetness like honey made great harmonizing into silky body and gentle but great impact in finishing. Awesome coffee it was. Well done, Sarah, in roasting brewing with grey coffee bean from Project Origin. Now, Alex sharing how he started his business and how he built up this place with a great passion and vision on his business. 
I came into hospitality at the end of 2011. I came from 30 years of running a steel fabrication business that was a family business. Um, and I needed to do something different. So I thought, what a genius idea at 52 years of age to stop doing something I'd done my entire life and do something completely different. But when I discovered coffee, I found something that I really fell in love with. There's a process to roasting coffee and the outcomes are totally determined by how much you put into it. Yeah? Um, as I d discovered more about the industry, I found out that what we do as roasters has a direct impact on farmers. And that's something that made me excited as well. So once I'd roasted for a couple of years with another business, I thought I'm working harder for someone else than I ever did for myself. So maybe it's time for me to start a business again. And that's when extraction got born. And it was a labor of love because we faced every possible financial hurdle you could to get this business open. But now when we did, it was something that really revolved around community. And we drew a lot of people to the business for that very fact. Coffee has a greater relevance in people's lives rather than just being a caffeine fix. There's a much bigger picture. Then we want to educate people to actually understand that there's great coffee, there's amazing coffee and there's incredible coffee. And that's what we want to work towards is educating people also. I've been knowing Extraction Coffee Roaster for a while. And I have to say, I'm so proud of this local, healthy, specialty coffee roaster born in Brisbane, Australia. Also, I can definitely see they have a great potential to grow up and impact to specialty coffee scene in Brisbane to whole Australia. So watch out coffee world. Well, now I've just done my very first step in this journey on YouTube. And I really appreciate you all my coffee family out there for watching my video. Next one is gonna be a very special one because I'm visiting coffee farm in Australia. So stay tuned and please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. God bless you. See you at next one.